All right, so we're now in the second phase of the process of setting up your free Weebly website for the system. So we're going to go right over here to the YouTube module, and we're going to upload a video related to our particular topic. So in my example for this video, I'm going to be promoting a ClickBank product on the ClickBank Marketplace, and this product is going to be, it happens to be in the niche of making money online, and it's related to making money taking paid surveys and so I would go over here and I would look for videos related to um, you know make money surveys that might be an idea and I would just type that in and so here is a video it happens to be one related to the product that I'm promoting but this is a video that I could potentially add to um, you know add to my particular website so what I would do is come right over here and go right over here where it says URL, right click it, copy it, come right back over here to Weebly where it says YouTube video URL, I would just paste it in there. And then I just come over here and click over here on the outside and it should save the video. It might have to do it a couple times so let's try this one more time. So paste that in there. You can adjust the size of your video to small, medium or large. Let's size it down to medium and position it in the center and then let's just click off there so now we have a relevant video and just again to show you an example so you don't think you're stuck to promoting what I'm doing let's type in weight loss that's a popular product people like to sell and you would just type in weight loss you could type in um, you know let's say that it is a blu-ray DVD player that you want to promote you could type that in and see what kind of results come up so there's some different ideas so you could find videos related to blu-ray players whatever you happen to be promoting so now so far we've got our article set up we've got our links established this is what went over in the last video we've got relevant RSS feeds with updated content and we now have a video related to our content so now we have a very um, you know a website that's featured around particular content now I would recommend possibly moving the video module upwards so you just click it and you drag it. That's ex exactly how you're going to move things in the system. Is just click and drag your mouse. And notice how now we reordered it. So now the YouTube video is there, and we've got the RSS feeds there. Now one other thing, you know, you could do here is go up here to Basic, and you can just come right over here, and you could add a new. Um, paragraph with title you could add or you could just add just a standard paragraph and you could just stick that right above the RSS feed possibly right above the video and so where it says paragraph click here to edit you just edit that and then just write some text that encourages people to click you know um, let's see paid surveys for cash get the solution now and then you just highlight that text we could center it right here by clicking on that you could come over here and make it bold we can actually add a link to it and just click on website again to add that link come right over here do pin url.com um, money survey and then go ahead and click on save and then now that link is live, so it's just one more spot they could potentially click, that your visitors could potentially click and find what you're looking for. So the next thing that you do is we're going to come up here. Now that this is set up and it's looking good, you're going to come right up here to where it says Publish, and you're going to go ahead and publish it. So just go right here and click on that orange Publish button, and it says Option A, Subdomain of Weebly, or Option B, Register a New Domain you want to go with option A because we're doing the free method here and keep in mind that this method is very good and it does work now what you want to do here is input the keyword that you are trying to target so in my example I'm targeting the keyword paid surveys for cash now if you were targeting uh, how to make money online let's say you're targeting um, commission blueprint which is a product out there in Clickbank and you want to put in there that your keyword is commission blueprint review whatever you're trying to promote uh, maybe it's a Nintendo Wii review website maybe it's a 
uh, Sonic the Hedgehog video game review site, whatever you want to promote, a Logitech USB headset website, you could do that as well. So just take your keyword and I would just paste it in there and then you can clean it up once it's in there. Um, so you want to just take out the capital letters. So uh, take out the capital letters that you're going for and then make sure there's no spaces. This will help you with the search engine rankings. So now you got paid surveys for cash dot weebly dot com so now I've got my keyword in there so whatever your keyword is you know lose weight now dot weebly dot com now let's say for some reason you know like let's say you're doing uh, weight loss and somebody already has that obviously so you could do weight loss one two three as an example that is available that actually is a good name um, so that is an example so we got paid surveys for cash dot weebly dot com and I'm going to verify that as my keyword again paid surveys for cash dot weebly dot com and then I just click over here and continue and it's actually publishing my website so your site has been successfully published to paid surveys for cash dot weebly dot com so what I do next is go ahead and I just clicked on it so now I want to just see what my website actually looks like now that it is live so this is what the live version of this website is going to look like so you notice here it's optimized well for the search engines up here we've got our title tags so keep that in mind that's good for search engines your title tag should have your keyword in it and it does um, drag it right down here we've got the main tag of the page says that first part of the article has the keyword and the first sentence of the article has the keyword so this is very well optimized for this keyword now one other thing you want to double check and this is very important is you're going to want to go about and click right here just to make sure that your link is functioning how it should and my link is working just fine so that's great and so we can close that out and this product tries to get you to buy again so that's good um, so let's go back here and click on our website and I, I want to go through and what I want to do is test every single link again just to make sure that the links are functioning and working as they should so I'll come back over here and we're just gonna click on this link just to make sure it's functioning and it looks like it is it's taking me directly over to the product so that's good okay so that took me right to the product I'll just go back to the page and then we're gonna scroll down we have the link right here one more time just to make sure that this is working as it should uh, and it looks like I actually have a bad link so that is a good thing that I checked so um, and I'm not sure why that link is not working oh I, I put the words correctly it should be survey money so what I'll do now is come right back over here to Weebly and I can just click on that little X and just to edit this I would just come right down here to this link click right there highlight it click on the link go to website and just retype it in pinurl.com forward slash survey money and then click on save and then click my mouse outside just so it saves the changes and we would come right back up here to our website and refresh it so I'm glad that happened and that's one reason you want to check because last thing you want to do is get people to your site and then your affiliate link is not working so you can't get sales and it looks like I did the same mistake again that is almost embarrassing so let's see here so survey money so let's try refreshing that one more time and it looks like it didn't take the change so what you want to do now go right back here to your site your Weebly website and go ahead and click on publish you want to just republish that change that you made that's a mistake I made there so um, go ahead and just republish it and so it's now been successfully published so you'd click on it after it's been successfully published and you know I, I actually don't go in and edit a lot of the errors I make um, when I'm teaching people just because I want to show you that um, you know when you make errors it's very simple to fix these and want you to learn from these mistakes you know everybody makes mistakes as you're as you're doing this so don't get discouraged so now it looks like it's gonna work and it does so that's great news so let's just go back to our website and so now we have a very it's a clean simple looking website you know um, you could easily change the design if you want you could add additional pages of content as you write new articles and so this is your basic 
website that you want to have set up. So it's very basic, very simple, and this is what we're going to be using to funnel traffic through. So now you kind of have an idea of how to use a lot, utilize Weebly and how to tap into the power of Weebly as well. So this is your overview of how to set up Weebly. In the next videos, we're going to go to the, a real fun part, which is driving traffic, because that's how you're going to start seeing some results and start making, hopefully making some money and some sales with the system. So um, let's just go ahead and pause this, uh, close out this video and get ready for the next videos where we're going to start driving traffic so you can start making some money with the system.